Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the draw tight trailer hitch receiver here on a 2021 Acura RDX. So this is what our trailer hitch is going to look like installed on our vehicle here. Now it does stick out a little bit, but that black powder coated finish is going to help it blend in well. It's also going to help protect the hitch from rust and corrosion. So adding a trailer hitch to your RDX is going to be an excellent option because it's going to make your vehicle that much more versatile. Now, in addition to towing, we could also use the trailer hitch for bike racks and cargo carriers, whether we wanted to hit the trails or just simply free up some space inside the vehicle for us and the family. In regards to the receiver tube size, that's gonna be an industry standard two inch by two inch. There is another standard size for this vehicle, which is a one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And that's still a good option, but I much prefer the larger two inch because it's gonna give you a greater variety of those hitch mounted accessories to choose from, like bike racks and cargo carriers. On the side of our receiver tube, we're going to have our 5 8 diameter hitch pin hole. So this is going to work great with the industry standard 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin and clip. Keep in mind your hitch pin and clip does not come with the trailer hitch. It is sold separately, but most of your bike racks and cargo carriers are actually going to come with their own. So you shouldn't need to have to worry about buying this. But if you do need one, we have plenty of options here at e-trailer. And then welded to the bottom of the receiver tube, we have our safety chain loops. Those work great with both the larger Clevis style as well as the smaller S-type hooks. So if you have a hands-free liftgate feature on your RDX here, it may or may not still work with your trailer hitch into position. It can be kind of finicky here. Um, usually you just have to find a sweet spot, so either side of the receiver tube opening. And more often than not, you can get it to work. But that's not going to say that you have 100% full functionality of that feature there. It's really going to be a case-by-case -case basis. Unfortunately, that's just sort of due to how the hitches are designed for this vehicle. So there isn't really another hitch that's going to work better. Chances are it will still work, but there is going to be some limited functionality. So we got a couple measurements for you guys here. The first one is the distance from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening. You're looking at about 13 and a half inches. That's going to be useful when you're selecting a ball mount so you can make sure you get the correct rise and drop to tow your trailer level. And then we're going to have the distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the bumper there. And it actually protrudes outward around a half inch or so so shouldn't be any issues at all in regards to those folding accessories coming in contact with the vehicle now in regards to installation this is a very easy hitch to install it's definitely someone with a low mechanical capability can do themselves at home in their driveway on the ground you don't need to lift it in the air and it should probably only take you around an hour or so it's just going to be common hand tools you don't need any specialized tools because there's no cutting or modifying to the vehicle you will need a torque wrench, but if you don't have one of those, you can actually rent these for free from most local auto parts stores. That being said, let's go ahead and walk you through the entire process now. So the first step for installation, we're going to look underneath our vehicle there, see if we see a spare tire just sort of in this area here behind the bumper. And if we do, we need to go ahead and temporarily remove that. And that's done by opening the hatch. You're going to be lifting open the floor covering in there. There's going to be a little plastic tab you'll pop up. And then you should be able to stick a socket down in there to lower the spare tire winch. So again, you can per, uh, temporarily remove the spare tire. Now, this particular model doesn't have a spare tire, so we're not going to be able to show you that today. But if you need any further assistance with that, be sure to reference your owner's manual. The tools are actually located inside the vehicle to do this as well. So next we need to lower our exhaust to get our hitch into position. So first step to doing that is taking some sort of uh, lubricant and then we're gonna be spraying down each of our four hangers. So there's gonna be one in the front and one on the back on either side. So we're gonna go ahead and get those coated nice and good. That's gonna help remove the hanger from that rubber isolator. Now we need to support our exhaust before we break the hangers free. Easiest way to do that is to take some sort of ratchet strap or cam buckle strap, hook it onto two points on the vehicle and then pull it tight. If you guys are working on the ground, you could probably use a jack stand or stack a couple blocks of wood. Now we're gonna be using either an exhaust hanger removal tool, which is not likely that you guys have, but you probably do have a pry bar, so we'll show you both methods. The pry bar is probably gonna be a little bit easier on these ones closest to the tailpipe. And then for the one behind our muffler, we'll be using the exhaust hanger tool. And we'll just go ahead and do this exact same thing on the other side. Now our exhaust didn't budge as much as I had wanted it to. We can probably still install the hitch just removing those two hangers on either side, but I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room to work. And there's gonna be two more located just directly behind this cross member. I'm just gonna go ahead and get those out as well. And again, this isn't required. You guys don't have to do it. I just want some more room to work and some more room for you guys to see. 
So before we lift our hitch up into position, we're gonna go ahead and get our hardware ready. We're gonna take our hex bolts here, along with our conical tooth washers, make sure the teeth are facing the hitch, and we're gonna need two of these per side. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll go ahead and lift our hitch into position, pulling down on the exhaust slightly. So now that we have all of our hardware in position, we'll come back with a 19 millimeter socket and snug it all down. And now we'll come back with our torque wrench here and torque all our fasteners down to the specifications in your instructions. So now that we have our hitch torque down here, we're going to go ahead and raise our exhaust back up into position. And then if you have a spare tire, go ahead and re-secure that as well. And now with everything secure, that's going to do it today for our look and installation of the Draw Tight Trailer Hitch Receiver here on a 2021 Acura RDX.